best like no one ever was to catch them is my real test to train them is my cause to do all right yeah we'll just dive right into the queue we're gonna get one match in and see how it goes maybe um maybe we'll do a little more testing over the weekend But nothing too spicy in the side. Just kind of your standard like four Raven Feeblements, Meat Hooks, Duress, a um, couple Valkyries, a couple other removal cards, that type of thing. But yeah, if you do play Magic, feel free to drop your thoughts. Oh, always. I mean, the deck in itself, I feel, is pretty spicy though. Like. Like the war chief is nice value. Um, the ob, I feel like this isn't necessarily like an ob build, but you know the chariot synergy is undeniably powerful. Oof. So let's see. So we do have the turn two curve with Gaia greeters. On the draw. It's tough. We have two turns to draw. Pretty much any. On the mall. So normally we would get rid of the chariot, but I think going down the six and being able to possibly if I draw a creature, go turn three, turn four, double chariot in the instance that they remove one, or I just want to spam cat tokens, I think it's pretty powerful. The chariot back. It's because the mana is kind of weird still. And if they're running like some sort of aggro, it might be difficult to come back from. Okay, so glad I uh, kept the voltage surge. <laughs> I think we'll get the greeter down because next turn we can double spell and kind of. I think we're gonna, we might need some life gain, so. Get the option to either gain some life or, or just die. That works too. So I obviously want to curve there, but um, I'm just thinking through all the other possible turns. So drawing a land and being able to trigger that, build a board presence, and gain life. It's pretty appealing. I'll hit the underdog. If he was down to like zero cards and wasn't going to get like any value, he didn't have like another play coming, I would get rid of the adversary, but I don't think he comes back main phase two and plays this.
Also, I've been kind of slacking on grinding up the ladder. Pretty much the only games I've been playing are on stream. So. That's fine. So I'm definitely thinking like, what if I would have drew the work, the war chief right here? Obviously, the war chief gaining life is part of why I can consider it outside of the value. Like I'm starting to see more and more aggro decks. Like every time I play, there wasn't a ton at the beginning of the format like there normally is. So obviously it needs some sort of removal right here. So uh, the decision here is if I keep the den in my hand or discard or play gold span, crew, swing with both, have two blockers. So a few blocks, I'll keep them in my hand. If not, then I'll play it. So no land is the two underdogs. So we'll see if we can get past this turn. Actually stabilize. Obviously, if he has any sort of direct damage. And it doesn't matter what we do. Okay, that's pretty good. Go to one. I'm trying to like, is this just like, a, it looks like kind of a Rakdos. Not your typical like Ob Rakdos build. Ouch. I don't know if there's any sequence of plays that... That I could have done differently to change the course of this game. I'm trying to like rack my brain for anything I did. And going for the life game was still correct.
Interesting. game because it gets two flyers all right game two had to go for the mill at least and <laughs> try to make something happen okay so no raise let's see the rest good against them it's decent it's the fable breaker hits the ob yeah we'll keep we'll keep the duress at two as is Fire Dragon. So, I'll keep the Graspin, even though we don't like taking two life against them. Too many non targets. I didn't see a Gold Spam, but I feel like if he runs another big creature, that's what it is. We will go one each because two life is just super important and it hits a lot of other stuff. It hits the adversary, Kiki Cheeky, the mana token, their dog. I feel like I should have some exile. The side deck here finally. Oh, see, maybe maybe getting a. I mean, paper cards aside, maybe the Winoli getting banned was. Wasn't so bad. What are you still running the the blue white control? Yes, yeah, I, I saw you said that. See, I just I don't even know. I don't know that much about about the mono green, so I don't know how powerful it is. I guess we're playing 61, whatever. Welcome to the stream. If you are just getting here, though, we are only doing one match today, so it's going to be super quick. Hopefully, we don't get too owed. Turn three, four. See, I don't, I don't like, I don't like meta like that, like the. Games are super fast. Seem kind of draw dependent. I don't know. Sounds pretty bad. Else. Yeah. I agree. I feel like they'll eventually do that. I mean, they've done it with all the other sets. I don't see why they wouldn't. It seems like they're trying to push Pioneer forward, so... 
feel like they got some stuff cooking. Right, yep. So, could they have a one drop? Yeah, I saw you play as the Blood Chief's Thirst. Um, I guess we just make him have it. Let's start from the opponent. So I'm gonna duress just cause. Turn three ob is not good. Yeah, what the, like what is what is he running? <laughs> this is pot. Like I, I just have no idea what this deck is. Like it didn't look that outlandish last game, but like this hand. I'm not gonna lie, I consistently lose the decks like this. Shatter, Voltage. I have treasures for the Voltage. So I can't kill his Reckless next turn. I could hold the two mana up for the Vaulted Surge. I don't know if that's the play though. The blow token. So it does activate this. I just would, I wasn't able to do those two things on the same turn to stop his curve. I'm fortunate having them all both games, but that's what it is. This deck doesn't genera generate like a ton of pure card advantage, so. It's hard to kind of recover from the balls. Life told, let's see, hold on. So three, six, seven, eight, that puts us at three. And so it's turn away. Okay. to just play like three or four of these because this thing is kind of kind of insane honestly i didn't want to craft more without knowing but this thing's kind of nasty yeah i have a bunch of overlays um plugged in i just have to sort through them kind of just figuring the details like that out as they go But I spent so, the little setback was having, I had, uh, like I spent all weekend like tweaking 
like the main the bigger overlays and Monday when I started playing Valorant like I couldn't stream with the in-game one so I had to pretty much delete that and add the static one but was able to keep the other two So if he double blocks, that'll be one, so I could still hit a land off this. Oh, okay. Magic is easy. So, let's see. We can either have the fifth land for gold span or we can cycle it. We'll actually have a play. I think that's the move. This will likely draw land anyway, and if not, we can maybe PS2 it by swinging with this if it lives. And we definitely have to find an answer for the Kiki Cheeky. It's also, also the first time playing this deck, so I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. There's no re reason to cycle in response, I don't think. Only reason would be to cycle in response to make him think that we play like a snakeskin veil or safekeeping. I think we just keep this hand, honestly. I'm trying to think, so if we... This is kind of sticky. Like this is super hard. I should have I should have dug for removal. I think that was a misplay. Yeah, that was definitely a misplay. I'm trying to think. So I don't see him blocking with either of these. Could have a cycle, but I don't think he does. To put him at 11, so our best bet might be to six. Yeah, I don't know. I think we lose the race anyway, but we'll just spend this mana because it's getting too close. Yeah. That's what I was trying to like sort through in my head. Oh, well, I guess opponent sees it differently. <laughs> oh, cause he has, he, did he draw removal? He drew removal, okay. I feel like I still have to go to the Kiki Cheeky, even though he won't have a target. He has the underdog. Yeah, I think I still have to respect the. I think 
like I still have to respect it. So he has the face up, burn down the house in hand. And just one underdog. I hope this isn't a salty rope because uh, uh, uh. yeah there's no way that's a salty rope maybe just actually timed out but this that is his third voltage surge that he drew with 45 cards in deck I'd love to keep both blockers back, but... Bruh, what? <laughs> it's interesting. So I still think we swing for five. Wait. Okay. So if I swing for five and hold this up, then this goes... The knight... I think that's still fine. Just don't. Yeah, I think I just have to keep applying the pressure. So the thing that was running in my head was it flips the knight, then it goes plus two, then he chooses a token and I can't let it go to battle and let him swing like I otherwise would have if it was on day. Like now he can just hold up the three blockers. So I have to have lethal to swing here. Because he blocks this damage and then swings back our game. It's 
three blockers. I think I can only get in for two. One, two, three, four. We just have to pass now. Game deciding turn, so I just wanted to take my time. Make sure there was nothing I'm missing. I think we hold the blocker up in the land block. Hope he doesn't draw another great card and cycle it with the blood token. Cycle the land with the blood token. But the land I used to block with. Fun opponent. Be normal for once, so he does have blood vantage, but that does take his den offline unless he draws another land. But he cycled it, so still has the underdog, and then he has one unknown card in hand that he just drew. Wait, he passed, he, he doesn't have the den to block with now. So tough, I drew the chariot. Okay, right, this is rough. This is rough. Okay, I think we just play Chariot Go. Any sort of direct damage from the opponent, like a play with fire, is game, but I don't know if he plays it because it looks like he has a full set of Voltage Surge. And then the Blood Chief's Thirst. So we'd have to be running a third one drop removal card. Okay. It's possible he drew it last turn though. Doesn't make it any better. Is their crew too ambitious here? Because if he blocks and does the damage, that'll put me low. One, two, three. Three blockers. And I'll have one, two. I'll have three. If. If he blocks then that'll make it so Did I miss lethal? One 
three. No, I don't think I did. He has four blockers. I have one, two, three, four attack. Alright, let's see what he drew. Good chance we time out if uh, if we make it to game three, but try to speed play next turn. Definitely took some extra time thinking on each turn. New deck plus a little bit rusty. Haven't played on. Have only played on stream so. Trying to think out every move. Is there a point in blocking? I don't think there is. One, two, no point blocking. Bruh, what? Like. That's green. Insanely good draw by the opponent. Guess I should have seen that coming. Guess I'll make them do it. Alright, I don't, I don't, I mean, was, I don't know if there was anything, anything else I could have done to, like, as far as my play, to be preventative about this, that everything, like, even if I block the tokens, I don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't know, I don't see anything standing out about any any play I made so I don't know um, stuck in platinum right now I guess maybe I'll, I'll spend some time over the weekend play testing a little more or trying to climb a little higher but I'm gonna be out of town at the end of the month so I know I'm not gonna be able to make that top 1200 push or the top my mythic push so that's kind of why I'm I'm lollygagging a little bit, but yeah, that's the that's the one game for today. I will repost this on YouTube along with the deck list. But um, here, I'll just quickly pull up the deck for today. I'm likely gonna drop maybe probably add like at least a third envoy. 
maybe a fourth. I don't know. This card's kind of cracked and didn't draw ob at all. Yeah, I think I'm going to try maybe like a third or a fourth envoy in the next build. Maybe for like the two gold span. Yeah, we'll try that over the weekend, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the deck and if there's any changes you think I should make. Like I said, I'll be posting this on YouTube, so feel free to visit that comment section there. And if you are new to the channel, uh, be sure to hit that follow button. Hope you enjoyed the stream and I will be updating my schedule for next week as well. So keep an eye out for that and hope to see you next time. Thanks for stopping in. Peace.